And I'm pretty sure that, uh, DDP's right, man. All this stuff that's on my shirt might be wrong. Except for the last part. <laughs> I love this shirt. Gets a lot of attention from people. DDP's got the right idea for wrestlers. I mean, I'm still partying, I'm still young. But by the time I'm their fucking age, man, maybe I'll feel a little bit different. I can't promise anything, though. <laughs> God damn, turn this off. If you smoke cigarettes, Sabu, James Fullington, well, Terry Brunker, or Terry Brunker, whatever it is. Man, ECW needs a whole lot of help. And you guys, I won't disrespect you guys for not taking any violent falls anymore. I'm going to disrespect you guys for dying, like Mike Awesome. He loved to do a suicide dive over the top rope. It was his last move ever. That's bad to say. But I'm going to shock you with things. The oldest living wrestler recently died at 99 years old. DDP, I don't think you could have helped him, but you are helping people and you're right. This yoga shit works, man. I'm not joking. I mean, maybe not quit drinking completely, but start smoking one of these e-cigarettes at least and stop drinking as much as you're drinking. I mean, half a liter at most, ten beer. Don't get real drunk. Don't smoke real cigarettes. Smoke these e-cigarettes. See, look. And don't take pills, for fuck's sake. I mean, maybe take one pill here or there if you have to have it because you're hurting. But please do not abuse medication. I've went to a dozen or more funerals of people in their 20s. It's just real, real, real fucking sad, man. That's my last drink of the night, and I may be lying because... Alcohol does that. And you should learn from that. I mean, I, I control my alcoholism slightly. A lot of the other times, the liquor does the thinking. The liquor does the thinking. <laughs> you really don't want that to happen. Because when the liquor does the thinking, the police start coming. And you're going to get in trouble, man. You're going to do something and regret it. You're going to wake up the next day that. Oh man, what the fuck did I do, man? Oh shit! Oh, I can't believe I did that. What the hell? And that's what you're gonna act like when you drink too much. I drink just the right amount, and then some more. <laughs> that's all you gotta do. But you gotta have a bed close by when you're drinking. So you can lay down when you're tired and don't have a lot of people over to keep you awake or make you nervous or anything. Just have an empty house and a bed and keep your gun unloaded and far away from you when you're drinking. Keep your gun far away and unloaded, then just go to bed, fall asleep, it'll be okay, trust me. But you got to do what I say. Do not drink too much. Do not take pills. Don't do anything that's going to keep you awake way too long while you're drinking. If you got to do stuff like that, do it on your own time when you're not drunk. And just keep your head on straight, man. I mean, um, a lot of people are going overboard with it. I've seen the videos. I know what's going on. I know what you're doing. I know what's happening. You're all fucking fucked in the fucking mind, man. Just get your head on straight. You'll be okay. Take a few deep breaths and go to sleep. Go to sleep. Lay down. If you can't go to sleep, just lay down. Watch some TV. Eat something. Go and eat something. For fuck's sakes, man. 
go and eat a great big meal. Then lay down, play some video games, watch a DVD, do something, watch a video online, go watch some pornography, do whatever you have to do. Just don't fuck up. And that is my advice. It might not be entirely politically correct, but I think it will, uh, it won't be so one-sided that it's gonna put anyone off. But please, for yourself, for fuck's sakes, don't get out there and drive. Just go to sleep. You'll be okay. Wake up in the morning, try to remember what you did. Don't do anything stupid.